This is my program. I made it using the iPad app, Kodea. The program tells you your sign of the zodiac. Let's try it out. You start by entering two parameters, your birth month and your birth day. You enter these parameters by using these slide bars. The user then only has to do one more thing. Enter the go parameter. This is considered a parameter because you're telling the program to start. So, it just outputs your sign of zodiac and it says my sign is Aries. Now let's see how I made it. There's three main parts to every program. The input, the work the program does with the information you give it, and the output. This program consists of two functions. The first one, called setup, contains all the information the program needs to run before the user enters their data. The second one, called Go, tells the iPad what to do when you press Go. Let's translate this program into English. The first function, called Setup, occurs even before the user sees the slide bars during the program's launch. The first line of code, parameter.integer, creates the slide bar that allows the user to input their birth month. The numbers following the variable birth month set the minimum to 1 and the maximum to 12. And it also sets the default variable or the default value to 1. The next line does the same thing, but it sets your birthday, not birth month. Line 4, parameter dot action creates a button that, when pressed, runs our next function, called go. More on that later. The next three lines create tables, or lists, of data that store the signs of the zodiac, the day of the month each sign begins, and the number of each month. For example, March is 3 and April is 4. The function ends af after that, so the iPad knows to launch the program. At this point, the program is ready for the user. Once the user presses go, the iPad begins the second function called go. Line 11 tells the iPad you want to loop the next section a certain amount of times. When we say for i equals 1 comma 12, we tell the iPad that we want to loop the block of tw code 12 times. This also tells the iPad that it should set the, ne the variable i equal to the number of times we've looped so far. For example, on the first loop, i is equal to 1. On the second loop, i is equal to 2, and so on. Starting on line 12, the program compares your birthday and month to the information stored in the table of days, months, and zodiac signs. Once the if-then statements find a match, then the program will print the words your zodiac is followed by whatever sign matches your birthday. Thanks for watching my video. I want to give a special thanks to my two awesome brothers, Scott and Alex, who taught me how to code.